Hi, I don't think I ever told you that uh, last week I had dinner with my mom and her friend Helene, and they're probably watching right now. Aww. And they both started singing that Rocky Mountain Mike jingle for me <laughs> at the dinner table at this restaurant for my birthday. And they didn't, it wasn't for my, they weren't singing to me to commemorate my birthday. Right. They were just talking about this show. They were Aww. talking about your show Aww. and how you always play that Aww. jingle. Hi, and mom. then they started singing it. And I was like, okay, oh, yeah, you can stop. You can stop now. Hi, Mom. Hi, Helene. Oh, <laughs> Baby boy is so beautiful. Happy yeah. belated birthday, Bob. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. And um, congratulations to your mom because you were a big one coming out. Wow. Oh, yeah. That yeah. ouch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that hurts my hoo ha just thinking he about it. He wasn't full grown. He was big. I, yeah, Have you seen right. pictures I, of I him as a I'm kid? He was four. huge. <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. my God! Can you even imagine? It yeah. was like that. Uh, what that Robin Williams Francis Ford Coppola movie where he comes out fully grown and yes. then he <laughs> and he gets ages smaller backwards. as he ages. Or Benjamin that Button. Was me. Oh. It was based on me. Yeah. Yeah. Giant of a um, man. Yeah. Bob. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't, I don't know where you want to start the Secret Service. I they're going to find those texts. I I aren't they? Yeah. I well, mean, they're, oh, yeah. yeah, I think they will. Yeah. I mean, didn't we learn um, like Zoe 10 years Lofgren, ago? Zoe Lofgren said yeah. that last night. She's mm-hmm. like, oh, yes, we will get them, <laughs> right? I mean. Well, the question I have is, I, I thought 10 years ago we learned that the, the NSA hoovers up all of that information and stores it yeah. until they need to get a warrant in order to look at that information. So where is the NSA? Wouldn't the NSA right. have copies of these texts? I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Right. Also, don't like AT&T and Verizon and all the mobile carriers yeah. have servers along the way where these text yeah. messages might be and, stored or captured yeah. somehow? As usual, there's other crimes on top of crimes because this would be illegal in yeah. itself, the destruction of evidence. So now if they find it and it's as incriminating as we think it's going to be, Oh, my yeah. God, here we go again. No wonder they can't. What was there was just an article, right, Travis, about how this is now going to be like a, you know, season finale and not a series ender yeah. tomorrow because mm-hmm. there keeps being new, you know, like, as we say, a fire hose of witnesses and evidence that keeps coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, I'm feeling pretty hopeful about prosecutions at this yeah. point, And I I guess we're not supposed to feel hopeful about uh, prosecutions yeah. and, and the prospects coming from the DOJ. Uh, but I'm not hindered necessarily by this, uh, memo that was leaked this week. I'm yeah. not, um, I'm not overly concerned about it. Yeah. Because, I, well, we had Barb McQuaid yeah. yesterday and she wasn't either. And I know, you know, we quoted AG from Mueller. She wrote that I, that it's, that's not the thing that bothers me. I mean, I would assume if they're going to prosecute Trump, they're going to have to, you know, run it by Merrick Garland. I mean, that doesn't seem oh, yeah, yeah. to me to be as Well, also, as, yeah. I think we're 107 days out from the midterms. Yeah. This moratorium on launching any investigations against political candidates or political incumbents, that's only within the last 60 days. So there's yeah. actually 40 days. If they haven't started an investigation against Donald Trump, which is entirely possible that they have, yeah. uh, we still have another 40 days in which to do that. Yeah. And then they would go dark for a matter of time until the election and they would pick up where they <laughs> left off or uh, launch something at that point. So, um, yeah, if, if they're investigating Donald Trump or they're in the process of getting ready to prosecute him, then that's probably already underway, which yeah. means that memo is entirely well, irrelevant. I, it's pretty significant that Lisa Monaco just came out and said him announcing what run would not stop any prosecution. So I, I don't know what you know how much clearer they can oh, be. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And well, also I mean, he won't stop. It was a, also he won't yeah, stop I mean, criming. So uh, he just called yeah, exactly, Wisconsin. Exactly. Yes, I don't. Yesterday, a few days ago, <laughs> to ask them to overturn the election. There, I don't. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, if again, if the investigation had started already, if it's if it's already underway, it doesn't matter what the memo said because the memo says also. Well, right. I guess this does matter. The memo said that if an investigation is underway, then they're going to continue the investigation. They can't just w- what they're concerned about is starting one and yeah. having that get out within sixty days of the midterms. And, I would assume the raids uh, of Eastman and Clark mean 
it, the investigation has begun up the chain. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, we've been hearing about for weeks now uh, a grand jury impaneled in D.C. that's yeah. looking at some of the higher ups. I know that uh, P- Peter Navarro uh, recently yeah. was subpoenaed for uh, information pertaining to contacts with Donald Trump himself. So uh, I understand the the urgency and i'm right there with everyone as far as uh, we got to get we got to get trump on this we got to make sure that he's held accountable for all of this not just january 6th but a lot of things that happened before then yeah but at the the same time yeah i I mean i understand that uh desire to make sure justice is served but at the same time you got to make sure that we're not in pursuit of that that we're not ignoring any facts that are, you know, in staring at us in the face that yeah. we know about, that we know that there is an investigation underway there uh, with his grand jury and that it's probably entailing a lot of information regarding Donald Trump, if not Donald Trump himself. Yeah. Um, speaking of Navarro, we were saying yesterday, don't you love that even the craziest of the crazy town in the crazy town meeting, Navarro and Giuliani, that like all the yeah. stuff that happened for right like oh yes italian satellites hugo chavez yes absolutely yes and and then when they got to military seizing the machines they were like no no like that's (laughs) that's too far no we're gonna go to like that just it'd be like the crazy was turned out to 11 and then they were like oh no no that's crazy right yeah 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 well actually you know what i I wanted to mention this speaking of crazy uh it's sort of this like Alex kind of Jones, a, like when you do a, a fantastic Alex Jones, like he, he's okay with lizard people and tiny airplanes, and then there's something even for Alex Jones. It's like, what? That's crazy. No. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Glenn Greenwald is now shilling for a documentary about Alex Jones. Yeah. Uh, I, I noticed yeah, that yeah, 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 <laughs> last week. Yeah. And of course, my reaction was, we tried to tell you, <laughs> Stephanie Miller, we, I, we tried to tell people oh, about boy. Glenn Greenwald and what he was all yeah. about and yeah, man, you yeah. Know, Malcolm, Nance, Malcolm Nance may have thoughts people. on that tomorrow in studio but okay <laughs> right. go ahead Bob what were you gonna you were gonna say well uh, th- speaking of crazy people also yeah we just had a primary here in Maryland oh. yesterday oh, mm-hmm. and oh yeah the did. Republican nominee is a maniac the Republican nominee for governor this guy named Dan Cox mm-hmm. which fun because we can say his last name <laughs> this guy guy dan cox, <laughs> dan cox. <laughs> he went with uh, roger hedgehog didn't he a cock roger hedgehog oh Hedgecock. i always get that wrong i'm sorry yes. uh-huh <laughs> Well, Dan Cox is a yes. QAnon guy. He's a he's a nine <laughs> eleven truther. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, he's he chartered a bunch of buses to go to the insurrection mm-hmm. and all of it. And of course, he's now the Republican nominee for governor. We don't know who the Democratic nominee is going to be yet. It's too close to call. Yeah. I was hoping maybe Tom Perez, uh, but it's neck and neck as far as that goes but i mean that's we're just we've got this wafer thin membrane between the normals and democracy on one side and absolute you know a cornucopia of madness on the other side yeah and it's happening again just much like uh pennsylvania just to the north of us we got a crazy guy lined up who uh, will potentially be the governor and to the the south of you um coming up we have yet another episode of our wildly popular new feature what the hell herschel which is an (laughs) offshoot of WTF Don. That's right. Yeah. So we'll get to that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, by yeah. the way, oh, you you point- know, the, the Herschel Walker story, by the way, always reminds me of when I was a kid. There was a, a, a kid who lived up the street from me, and he came over to our house, proceeded to spill grape juice all over the carpeting. And then, as my mom is mopping up the grape juice, my mom getting a lot of play on today's show, by the Hi, way. Hi, mom. Uh, Hi, Mrs. Bob. <laughs> mopping up the grape juice. And then this kid turns to my mom and says, Hey, you know, I'm bionic, just like my brother. Oh. Like, and as, oh. as soon as I heard, yeah, yeah, this kid was just a kid making thumps, making something up about himself. Wow. And when I heard Herschel Walker talking about how he was in the FBI. Yes. Oh my I might as well have said he was bionic. Oh my it's God. like Robbie he's saying he's a, bionic. And that's as, what's next. I swear to God. He's as big a liar as Trump. He's just, oh my, okay. By if the way. Herschel Walker starts making the noise as he's moving around, that means he's claiming he's bionic. There you go. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I love you. <laughs> like his brother. <laughs> you, you actually tweeted, when I was six years old, I wanted to be Spider-Man. These chronological adults, on the other hand, never outgrew these impressionable years. They're easily deceived, easily led weekend cosplayers with unsubstantiated self-confidence and pathological delusions of grandeur. You're right. You're, you're, 
you're right about the lot of them. But anyway, one of, so one of the other crazies, Dr. Ronnie, uh, dares the mm-hmm. Biden administration look, look, try look, to take look, away look. his gun, and you said another violently unhinged Republican telling his supporters it's okay to solve problems with firearms. And he also appears to, he seems drunk to me, but I don't, I don't. I don't Always. So, yes. yes. Always. And I imagine like a paper bag with a bottle of Ripple in there. I don't know why. Just the, the ugliest, you know, like a like a cheap bottle of Everclear in a paper bag. He's just stumbling around the halls right. of Congress. That's what's terrifying, that Dr. Ronnie is a member of Congress now. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Human pill provi- dispenser. Human pill dispenser, Dr. Ronnie. That's right. If you provi- provide enough uh, illicit drugs to members yeah. of the White House staff, you too can be a member of Congress. Yeah. And you <laughs> talked about it being the same day uh, of the Greenwood Park Mall shooting in Indiana. You said the same day in which a probably drunk U.S. congressman threatened to shoot the president if he passes an assault weapons ban. Just another day of, uh, you know, mm-hmm. clearly yeah. threats I mean, against the president that, uh, okay. I mean, that's the deadly serious madness of all of this. I mean, yeah. he's not necessarily, I mean, I don't think anyone's seeing this one video and getting the impression, oh, okay, so I guess I can shoot the president if he tries to pass an assault weapons ban. Yeah. But it's an overall vibe that we're getting video to video to video. Yeah. This is not the first video in which a Republican said, all right, well, you know, if you're against that legislation, uh, here, you can use your AR-15 to shoot the legislation. Yeah. Or if you don't like Nancy Pelosi, hey, get your AR-15. Yeah. And that legitimizes the concept. And over time, it becomes more and more legitimate in the minds of these freaks and weirdos who pay attention to these people. So yeah. uh, it's it's a bad, bad precedent. And it was the same day, I think, that I think that Ronnie Jackson video came out the same day where we had another mass shooting. I think yeah. at a, yeah. at a yeah. mall in Indiana. This By the way. Then. Thank you once again for responding to the GOP on Twitter who said 621 pounds of deadly fentanyl was seized at the southern border in June alone. And you're like, another win for the Biden border. Patrol. Yeah. Thanks for pointing it out. That's the government doing its job. I, I don't get it. I, don't, I, I it. don't know. I don't understand this one, Stephanie. Yeah. There, there are a couple of different talking points that have come up yeah. recently with the Republicans. It's just a, a, absolutely baffling. Those of us who are like super jealous of the Republican messaging for some reason. Yeah. They've got a couple of things circulating right now. The one thing is the yeah. all the border seizures and how that's somehow bad news when it's actually really, really good news. Yeah. And then the other one comes to us from this anti-abortion activist who was questioned uh, in a congressional hearing with yeah. Eric Swalwell yeah. asking about what, you know, what happens if a 10 year old girl is raped. And this anti-abortion activist was trying to tell Eric Swalwell that if that little girl has an abortion, it's not an actual abortion. Right. I mean, she, she was parsing the word abortion. Yeah. And yeah. to hear this Q&A with Swalwell and this anti-abortion activist was like next level. Oh, I know. Because they're trying what, to seem not the, as awful as they are. <laughs> you know, when, yeah. When, when, it is a, when is an abortion not an abortion? It doesn't matter the circumstances of the pregnancy. Yeah. There's a procedure called abortion. And when you have an abortion, it is called an abortion. Yeah. He was um, trying to say that it's not, and it's bizarre. Um, thank you for sending the right Batman villain sting after Chris played the wrong one and insisted that it was the right one when the right one. Yes, because all the villains around Donald Trump are, I don't, the Batman villains have, oh, yeah. the Dick Tracy villains have all the ghosts let out of the boxes and Ghostbusters, the Island of Misfit toys. Yes, including the gun that shoots grape jelly. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, if they were all sitting around like a conference table with multicolored suits on, and, and the Legion and of Doom, Donald Trump was they came to the meeting a... in a train with square wheels. That's that took so long. <laughs> yes, that's why the meeting yeah, was late I mean... at night. <laughs> Into the I Legion mean, of imagine. Doom. They're they're sitting around the conference table in the Legion of Doom. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. So I mean, you got Steve Bannon right next to Roger Stone. I mean, those two alone could yeah. be the beginnings of a gigantic rogues gallery of disgusting yeah. weirdos who have bizarre appearances <laughs> and that's just i think i just described every batman villain so yes so and every so tracy villain oh my god all right yeah. i love you bob seska i love you bob seska's i love you mom. too i love you bob seska's mom good and job getting, good and job helene. pushing this that. pushing this one yeah. out and helene Ow. and helene, and helene. <laughs> Hi, helene. Yes. all right bye bob i love all you all right bye 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 dan you, cox bob. is the nominee yes <laughs> what did he say Dan Cox is oh, the nominee. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not